So you might have heard about or read this post on the Chromium blog about a secure web is here to stay. Now what this post is talking about is that as of July 2018 or Chrome version 68, any HTTP websites are going to have this not secure warning or message displayed to the visitors on your website. So that is saying that if your site is not being served over HTTPS, you're going to be displayed this not secure warning. Now in this video I want to show you how to get rid of that not secure warning and add HTTPS to your website using Cloudflare. Now Cloudflare is a free service so you don't need to pay anything for this and what it does is allow you to serve your website over HTTPS without having to install or manage SSL certificates on your server. It also gives you a whole host of other features such as uh, DDoS support, also a CDN or a content delivery network and that essentially means that your website is going to be served faster to everyone around the globe. But as I say this is a free service or it's free for the uh, account that we're going to use. All you need to do is go ahead and sign up for an account here. Now I've already done that and I've logged in to my account. As you can see how I've previously added a few other domains. But once you're logged in, all you need to do is click on the Add Site button. Then you need to put in your domain name. Now I'm going to add my RapidWeaver Tutorial.com domain name and click the Add Site button. And you'll be given a bit of information here and essentially what this is doing is Cloudflare is just looking for the existing DNS records on your uh, server or on your domain name. Now here we're going to use the free account because we don't need any of the features on the other ones. So we'll confirm that free account and then you'll get a DNS query results for your domain name. Now if you're unsure of the existing DNS records or if you're unsure of what is being listed here, please check with your hosting company and they'll be able to give you a full list of the existing DNS records. However, Cloudflow is pretty good at this. They will usually scan your domain name correctly and add all of your DNS records for you. So in most cases, you'll be able to just click the continue button here. And once you've done that, all you need to do is change your name servers. Now you're going to have to change the name servers with your domain registrar. So in my case, I've used Namecheap to register this domain name and I'm logged in here and I am managing my RapidWeaverTutorial.com domain name. And as you can see here, this is where I can change my name servers. So I've chosen the custom DNS setting and then all I need to do is update the name servers here. So as you can see, instead of ns1.a2hosting.com, I need to change it to these ones here. So I'm going to copy that one and come over and paste that in. And then copy the second one here as well and come over and paste that in. And then I'm going to delete the other two. Then I'm going to press the save button. Now, as you can see here, it does say that the DNS server update may take up to 48 hours. However, I usually find that it works within sort of five to 10 minutes or so. So we might have to wait a minute, but we'll see how quickly this gets updated. But if we go back to Cloudflare, we've done that change so we can click continue. And then you'll see that the DNS modification is pending. You can click the recheck name servers here. I usually find that that does speed it up. It usually works within a few minutes once I've clicked that button. But whilst we're waiting for that to happen, let me show you the existing um, RapidWeaverTutorial.com website, which you can see I've got open here. So RapidWeaverTutorial.com. I've got a home page and I've got a protected page with a login form. Now in Safari, you won't see any difference here. This is uh, this is being served over HTTP, there's no HTTPS being installed and you don't get any sort of a warning or error messages. However, if I open this site up in Chrome, you can see I'm on the home page here. We don't get any warnings or errors at the moment. So currently, until July 2018, this is what you will see for a standard HTTP site. 
However, if I go to the protected page or a page with a login form, you'll see we get this not secure message up here. Now this is what's going to be displayed for every single page on an HTTP site as of July 2018. So as you can see, that's not ideal really. What we want to happen is for that uh, not secure message to go away and we want to serve the site over HTTPS. Once we've done that, we will remove this warning. So let's go back to Cloudflare and see if the DNS records have been updated yet. And note we're still waiting for that to happen. So I'll wait for that uh, in the background and I'll come back in a couple of minutes once we're added to Cloudflare. Okay, so we now have this nice big green banner and that means that our site has been added to Cloudflare or the DNS changes have been recognized and we're now serving our site through Cloudflare. So the next step to add HTTPS to your site is to go to the Crypto tab. And you'll see by default here, Cloudflare adds a flexible SSL certificate to our site. Now what that does or what that means is that when you add your site to Cloudflare, all of the traffic to your site goes through Cloudflare. And that uh, connection is secure. And that means that you can um, serve your site over HTTPS. So once this certificate has been authorized, and you can see here that it's still authorizing this certificate, once this turns to green, we will be able to view or serve our site over HTTPS. So again, what I'll do is I'll wait for this in the background and we'll come back as soon as the status turns to green. Okay, so that took about five minutes and we now have an active SSL certificate on Cloudflare. And as I say, what that means is that we can now serve the site over HTTPS. So if I go back to Chrome and I actually add HTTPS to the beginning here, and we refresh, you'll see that we now get a nice green secure message instead of that not secure warning. So this is great. This is how you add quick and easy SSL certificates to your RapidWeaver site so that you can serve it over HTTPS. Now the one final thing that you'll want to do is, if I visit HTTP and then the domain name, you'll see we still get this uh, not secure warning. So what we want to do is redirect all non-HTTPS traffic to HTTPS. And Cloudflare can do this for us as well. So if we go back to Cloudflare and we go to the page rules tab, we can create a page rule. And what we want to do is add a setting and we'll pick always use HTTPS. And what we'll do is just say HTTP or actually we don't need to add that. What we want to do is do a star and then a dot rapidweaver tutorial.com. And what we're doing with this star is saying any subdomain. So if it was www dot or blog dot or anything here, what we want to do is redirect that to rapidweaver tutorial.com. But we want to always use HTTPS. And we'll add a star on the end to ensure that anything uh, or all of the pages are redirected to HTTPS. So we will save and deploy that. Ah, so we did need to add HTTP, sorry, my mistake. So HTTP and save and deploy. So that's on. So now hopefully if we go back to Chrome and we put in HTTP and then for example www.rapidweavertutorial.com there we go we see we get redirected to the HTTPS version so once again if I just remove the S and we go to the HTTP version you'll see that automatically gets redirected to the HTTPS version and you can see here on the home page as well we are getting that nice green secure message Okay, so I think that just about does it for this video. Hopefully you've learned how to add your site to Cloudflare. It's a free service, and as I say, not only do you get SSL certificates, which allow you to serve your site over HTTPS, you can also use some of the other features, such as the uh, speed settings here. You can minify your content, you can add caching, all sorts of stuff like that. So it's a great service, and I really recommend that you go ahead and sign up on cloudflare.com. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, 
please give us a thumbs up below and I'll see you in the next one.